Beckman Unleashed podcast number 43. We are live. We're back. Live. In the flesh. I want to apologize to everyone who has watched the podcast for over the last two weeks. My audio and visual, they had better audio and visual from the moon in 1963 than I had last week on the podcast. That was like a terrible FaceTime level quality there, don't you think? It was the worst. It, it, literally, they had better if from the moon. It's better than how, how I did this amazingly big popular podcast. It was I, You couldn't even hear me half the time. It was amazing. I don't know which one of us was worse. I was worse. You think so? Oh, the, the audio on mine was so bad. Which I, is weird. Oh, bro, I had the mic, this mic. I'm 99% sure my mic wasn't on. It must not have been because it wasn't. you're in think. a studio. I was outside in Hawaii. Like, how is mine better than yours? Yeah, the mic wasn't on. We like didn't test it properly. Mm, that's the worst. You know, do videos like early on and your mic's not on. You're like, what? The oh, hell yeah. Go, but it, go to my videos from two years ago. I'm just talking into the computer. You can barely hear me. Yeah. Or a year and a half ago. It's Bush League. It was. <clears throat> then you get big, big on YouTube like me. You know what's you not? You got to up your game. You know what's not Bush League, though? What? Number 43. Darren Sproles. Darren Sproles. That's a good call. Do you like that, that one? Yeah. How about Troy Palomalu? Even better. Nah, I'm a Charger fan though. So Yeah, but you can be a Charger fan and still n know that Darren Sproles is a tenth as good as Troy Palomalu. Troy Palomalu is probably the second best safety of all time and was wow. a, a, a freak athlete. Yeah. Samoan, un un right? Unbelievable. So, and a Samoan. Savage. Which yeah. is awesome. Yeah, he's a savage. And then I also, I was following Darren Sproles back in, was it Kansas State or whatever he played for? This is a long time Did ago. he play for K-State? I think so. Go ahead. But anyways, that was all I was going to say. But oh, this is a dog training podcast. And you could throw Kurt Schilling in if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to throw Kurt Schilling in there for You're sure. Saying? Oh, yeah. On Twitter, that guy goes hard. I didn't know anything about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's not messing around. And that's what 11 straight after Jesus. Jesus was 33 and then. And then this whole thing started. Yep. So what do you got for us today? All right. Friend? So here's, we're going to have our Patrick, our timestamp guy. His name is Ryan. He's going to be on the podcast. He does all the timestamps for us. He also bought the joggers sweats. He sports them. He's probably wearing them to be honest with you. Didn't you say whoever, nope. whoever buys those, we're going to put them on the podcast. And he bought them and we should have him on anyway. Cause he does awesome timestamps. His timestamps are hilarious. Yeah. And they, he makes fun of us. He makes fun of everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So that's fun. good. As long as you're funny, you can make fun of us. Yeah. And so he's going to be on in 10 minutes or so. We got to email him the link. But here's what I want to say up until that mm -hmm. time. Okay. We got to get him on in like six minutes. I was watching TikTok. Dave Portnoy. He's on Instagram. Barstool, Mo Barstool Sports. Yeah. Most people know who he is. He got a dog named Princess or Peaches. It's like the cute. Have you seen this? Did Dan send it to you? Well, Dan's been talking to me about it, our mm -hmm. friend. But don't but forget Dan. Um, he's got this cute rescue pit bull that she's like the sweetest dog in the world and she's blowing up and she's huge now. Okay. Some lady on TikTok called some like kind of big TikToker called the dog, like ugly, cute. Okay. No big deal. And she's like gotten like death threats or something. She like posted a thing. Like all I did is call the dog ugly, cute. And people are like, your children, like going after her. The and, internet man yeah well here's the here's my point here's my point i don't give a rat's behind about this is that's the internet and you got to take your you want respect i i'm i it, just because it's the way it is dave portnoy would be a good example of that dave portnoy's giant multimillionaire. they're going after him with allegations of the r word like they Th this whole like oh you're big and you've got money so so you're now open to this insane criticism and death threats and people coming after you like like let's not normalize this like that lady right let's not normalize that she can be gone after for calling a princess or peaches ugly cute because then dave made a video saying it was a fine video he's like she's not ugly cute she's just cute like f you to the lady that's what he said back to her which is just kind of a funny, funny yeah, thing so. she's like an attractive lady like he i don't but when you're big like that you just Dave Portnoy just put it out there. And then his followers went and like attacked her. It's like a mob. It's like, a, it's, a, it's exactly like a mob. That's great to say it. But let's not, let's not normalize this. Which part? The mob or the, the mob? The mob. The mob going after people for 
she called a dog ugly cute. It's a, it's like a term. That's a theme of the podcast though, right? Is like the ability to say what you want to say, right? But you also want the consequences too. What do you mean? Like people should be free to say what they want, but they also have to deal with the consequences. Oh yeah. Like that. people sometimes are like on what what do they do? Um they go at me, I go at them, then they call me unprofessional for going at them. Yeah. Like like you came on my channel. What do you think I I I need to be the bigger person? I'm not the bigger person. I like Apparently that. I'm the I'm the same as you. I don't think I am cuz they came on my channel. I've literally never gone to someone's channel personally on Instagram, TikTok or YouTube and said anything about anybody ever. Nothing negative at least. Nothing negative. Yeah. Ever in my life. It it's not in me. Like do your thing. Yeah. We had positive things with Zach George too, right? Back in the day, a couple of years ago, he had called you, not called you out, but he was like asking other dog trainers and stuff. And yeah. He went in there. We had we positive things to say about him on the podcast four months ago or whenever we talked about him. Yeah, we did. This there was true. some, there was some, some little, some humor, some humor in there, but you know, we don't hate anybody. How, but anyway, I just don't want to normalize this. to be back? That's so good. Does it? So good. We can never do that again. Yeah. We need to pre-record it before we do that yeah. like moon landing stuff. Yeah, it's enough with that. So it's I enough. think what do you hey email him? He, email he's him? expecting us in well, whatever you want. Well, we'll get Ryan. Oh, he's gonna be then he's gonna come up on here. So we we as a community, not just the pod, but as a community, don't be don't be a pit bull out there in the world attacking people on social media. Okay. I will always um, protect the um, my clients when they get attacked. No one will ever get attacked on my channel more than I get attacked. True. Um, I'm not going to allow it on my channel. I don't believe that that's, that's the internet. That's what you signed up for. Not me personally, but towards my clients or towards this lady or anyone. Like No one signed up for that. I yeah. even think celebrity politicians are different. You got to have thick skin though, bro. But you do have to have thick skin. Yeah, because but I'm just I'm just saying like let's not normalize it. It's not normalize have thick it. skin, but let's not act like that's the way the world's got to be. But Where, it is the, the way the, the world internet. is. The and you're going to be upset if that's, you go in there. I mean, they shred. Point. You know, young girls that are doing YouTube people come on there and shred them. So it's like, oh yeah, everyone, terrible. everyone yeah, gets you, shredded. No, you're right. No, that is the way the Did world you see is. That Tom Segura thing about that or no? It was like Tom Segura, one of those other guys that Rogan's friends with, and it was like some random girl who's just making content and people are just tearing into her. I'm That's like, so whoa. Great. And they're laughing, but I mean. But it's become kind of a joke. But you're right. This lady just like makes content and then people, but they say funny things at least. It's funny, I think. Yeah, but I don't even know if the she's commenters. an adult. She is. Oh yeah, she has like oh. a job like at a coffee place. Okay. She's like 22 or something, but it's just terrible. She's just... a little overweight. Oh, I don't know that. Yeah, you haven't seen the girl? No, I thought it was a different one. Blonde girl. I didn't know she was. Okay. No, there's this girl. She's got glasses on. She works at a coffee shop. She like does a day in the life and people are like, shred her. Yeah. Maybe there's, there's you know who's also one. getting a lot of shredding is uh, um, Brendan Schaub. Do you know about this? Yeah. There's like full videos about like this. I don't like it. There's like people dedicating their lives to destroying this guy. Yeah, why? I don't know why. That's the thing. Because he's not a great stand up. I mean, it's stupid. Don't let him be not a great stand-up. I know. I don't know what the energy is about with that. Yeah, they because it's a mob mentality, and a few people talk about Brendan Schaub, and then everyone goes, "Let's go get this guy." It's like Nickelback, right? Like Nickelback became this like funny joke that like you're either love him or you hate him kind of yes, thing, and then yes, now yes, it's yes, like yes, twenty yes. years later, people are still just talking about Nickelback, yeah. and then it's just like an inside joke. You know who's not tearing people up in the comments? Tom Brady. You know who's not you Michael sure? Jordan. He's not a keyboard warrior. Yeah, disguise? Michael Jordan. You know who's not um uh you know uh um leaders um Jamie Dimon. No, he's not. In um the you know who's not like people who do stuff in their life. They're not in the comments. Yeah. You're not in the comments. I'm not in the comments. You're not just like on, you know, I'm in the comments on my own channel. Garrett Wings you know, yeah, Garrett, just like Gary, you're doing you this totally wrong. You're, you're wrong. You, you're wrong, bro. Do better, bro. Someone said that to me and then they go do better. 
And I'm like, oh my God. I go, I commented back and I go, I'm going to destroy you because of your stupid do better thing. Like I was going to let it go. It's and like then I saw better do better. You're well, better it's just like that. that, that do better thing is like, it, it, it gets me. If it you want to make you. me mad, like go, you're, you're blah, blah, blah. And you should have done this and then go do better. It's like, it's like just such a, um, it's like a thing of authority. Like, like they're acting like they're so much better yeah, it's like than ivory you tower type of uh, ivory tower. Yeah. Just soapbox type stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I hear you, but it's, it, am I wrong? No, it's also the same way with all the all sports those? stuff though. Right. Like yeah, all the is. sports people and it then is. all the, the experts and there's just this like weird, I also was thinking Bro. how weird it is about like people in their dogs? teams. Go ahead. You know what I mean? How they're like, we did this, like we did this. And I'm like, we, who they're like, we like the oh. Raiders. And I'm like, but you don't play for the Raiders, buddy. You're just a random fan. I know you probably got upset about that, but I think now, I just said did that. Did you see when Kevin see. Durant ran on the court, someone called him the B word and he just flipped. It was a pretty popular video. He just flipped around and he like looks at him and they're like, Oh, Hey, how are you? And it's like Kevin Durant, who I think has some anger issues. A lot of people with without dads have some anger issues and I got to make sure I don't not because I didn't have a dad, but just in general. Um, but he flipped around and confronted him and they're like, Oh, and like, but he's not taking it. Like yeah. he, he says, yes, I make a lot of money. I'm, I'm in the NBA. It doesn't mean I need to get yelled at and let these people do it to me. And I like that. I like when people like you in the comment section, like someone's just like, Joel, you're a total idiot. And then you just jump in there. You're like, why? And they're like, Hey, Hey, Joel, big fan. You know, <laughs> have you seen that? Oh, all the, like anytime someone's critical and then the person who's like video it is like says something, they're just like super apologetic. Yeah. Cause they realize they're, there's this TikTok guy who like came at me and I was like ready to like get on here last week and just go at him. And then he, and then he, uh, he stopped and, and I was like, okay, dude, you got like a reprieve for a week. We'll see. All right. Our Patrick, let's Our let's Patrick, where's he at? Well, did you send him the thing? I sent it to him. I'm sending it again. Jeez. All right. Well, he said jump in it. Oh, yeah, it's three minutes late. Did so anyway, seven, uh, 315 or 310? 310. So timestamp guy. So that's my that's my spiel. There was it started with dogs and then it went to um other things. I'm uh so let's let's talk until he comes on. He'll be in in a minute. All right. He's figuring it out. You sure? I mean, I think so. All right. I want to make here's sure I a, make any mistakes so on my end. Remember, so here's a here. I, I thought a question is to ask him. Um, remember when Trump like got all his cabinet around the table and then he asked them what they like about him and the media like scorched him for it because they scorched him for everything. But it was kind of an interesting. He got everyone around and then he asked like, what do you like? What do you like about me? It was kind of a funny thing. And I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. But that's what I'm going to do with our Patrick with Brian. Mm. I'm, I, but I was like, I'm just going to ask him why he likes me, but I just want to know his, his history of like, okay, I started watching the channel and I like the podcast for this, or I like your channel for this. Cause I don't talk to a bunch of fans or followers and yeah. like, no, like I want to know what they like. Like I was going to ask you that question today. Then I'm like, you're, you don't, ha you're, you're going to have a weird perspective on it. Yeah. You like know, I secretly don't like you. So it's like hard because I can't give that non-biased opinion. You yeah. Know? Well, could you answer that question? Like what's good about the channel? The, cha like, the channel is different than the podcast. I know, sure. but you're in the podcast. You can't answer the podcast question. You're too in it. I know what the channel is all about. I don't, but I don't know if you do. You're like too in it. Like you no got to see it fresh and go, oh, the channel drops fire dog training. It's the videos are packed with good stuff. You know what See, I mean? That's too ambiguous. No, like you're showing them every level of dog training, like beginning to end, like even these little like nuances, you keep dropping them over and over. It's just ridiculous. It's amazing. See, that was people. That, like, that was okay. Like it's ridiculous. Like, it's amazing. Like we need. Specifics. It's like the 8 million, 8 million view, the hound video, right? Okay. Where you did the little lovemaking with Prince when you were just like, yes. it's okay. Calm his nerves, his nervous yes. system. And you started, yes. it's okay. It's okay. People just loved it. Cause that must see TV, my friend. Maybe, maybe it's, it's like a unique, uh, pers like my, my personality is a bit unique for a dog trainer. 
Yeah, it's the no nonsense, but also it's the high level of skill. Like no. if you just teach, like yeah. you know what I mean. Like you have certain guys that teach about like basketball or boxing that aren't even famous, but you just know they're really good and they yeah. just have good channels because they're just providing good content. Just like with surfing, my dad was talking. So I know you're a big surf guy. Um, some guy was like, he's not even, I guess, that great of a surfer. Like he's great in the sense of like competitively, but he's not like top, top tier. Yeah. And he's like, my dad's like, he's got the best channel. Like he has the best YouTube stuff. And I'm like, yeah, the best person isn't always the best YouTuber. Yeah. So to speak. I'm going to need to get the last four of this guy's email because I want to send him another email just to make sure. Yeah. Like this guy would never no show. Oh, hell no this crew of ours Ryan. so this is um you got it yeah okay here it is we should just put him on blast give all of his information out perfect you're the man okay oh wow there's oh, i screwed up yeah you didn't send it he does it it's it doesn't have an a in it it's not our patrick it's our patrick oh my bad buddy. he's like tripping right now he thinks we dogged him out <laughs> Oh, no wonder. All right, there we go. It. I was yeah. like, there's no way. We could have been on here for an hour with that poor guy just waiting in the wings. That would have been bad. Okay. So he'll, he'll be on. We solved the problem. I wonder what questions the viewers would want to ask Orion. Yeah. I think we need to have more viewers on. Do you think this or no? Yeah. Under duress. Under duress. Off grid dogs. Renee McKinnon. As Bro, I, always I saw, like, I think it's ASP 1213. I was going through, um, a tick that TikTok video of me that was like the lady made it about when she's trying to pursue a guy and it was my words like yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go get him. It's like giant video on TikTok. This some lady took my video, changed it, and said when I'm trying to get my man in a situation ship, and I'm like I'm not. And it was me talking about pursuing a dog, and it was yeah. All these women loved it. Was it. Well done. But I went through the comments, and then there was a commenter of mine who had the same TikTok handle and it's like asp and she or something said like i love beckman's dog training so like there's other people out there that i forget to talk about sometimes like Dude, there's a ton of them yeah, yeah we screenshot like cow whisper there's all these folks that we've oh, read yeah. their comments the wackler uh, mike lazure or whatever l-a-z-u-r-e oh. he's talked to like a thousand he's had like a thousand comments right on this bro show. we gotta like tell these people yeah step step it up on the pod because they're out on other platforms with on, on, and they have my back yeah they have your back what is it under or denver outdoor or what is it yeah denver outdoorsman oh bro i saw this one um like something movies like i love movies or movies person look at oh there he is there he Our is. Patrick. He can hear us. We can't hear him because he hasn't been patched in yet. That white light behind you, brother, is going to create major problems. I got to tell you. It that might. thing is like. I don't know if he sun. can move, though. It's like the sun. Oh, look. He oh, fixed he it. did it. This guy can do anything. There he is. This guy can do anything. Oh, he's live. You're live, Brian. Are you ready? We're here. We're always ready. Oh, that's not going to work. What? Bro, look at his shirt. Look at that. <laughs> Do this shit at night. <laughs> that looks good. Hey, so, whoa, holy cow. Oh, look at uh, that. And he's got the pants. You that can't uh, flip this thing uh, sideways or up and down. I end up inverted no matter what I do. Can you set You're good right the there. camera down, though? What's You're that? Perfect. Can you set the camera down? Yeah. That's the main trick, is because then it won't move around. That's pretty good. Look, he looks comfortable. He looks more comfortable than we do. It's because of his clothing, though, I think. Hey, that's why he likes us, dude. Because the freaking Jordan, Jordan uh, picture. That's fantastic. Well, we're Jordan fans. I'm a giant Jordan fan. Not as big as Ryan. Ryan, are you a giant Jordan fan or what? Yeah, I got a, a closet full of uh, shoes. I got all kinds of stuff. Huge. Yeah. So. Hey, good to have you on, man. Yeah, we're excited. Thanks, guys. Yeah. It's... uh been like the longest half an hour I've been waiting on here. So do you know the problem? What happened? So no, I, go, I don't know who John Galt is either. Yeah, that's me. So uh, do you know who John Galt is in real life or no? Or in fictional? No, it's from Atlas Shrugged. It's a book. It's a book. Um, so I sent it to our Patrick, <laughs> not our Patrick, because there's no A. 
So then we're like, he's not joining. I'm getting nervous. We're trying to talk and like get it going. And then he hands it to me again. And I noticed there was no A in it. And so then I added the yeah. A. Or so that was our it. problem. Yeah. So All right. I was like, okay, what's going on? They're like, uh, they saw my email right after Joel emailed me. And he's like, yeah, we can't have this dude on. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We were looking at that picture. I didn't know. I didn't know what was going on in that picture you sent. Oh, I had an elaborate thing prepared, but I get it. Oh, you did. Yeah. So you had some questions for him, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So Ryan, good to meet you, bro. Um, Thanks for being a longtime fan. Thanks for um, contributing to the podcast. Um, And buying the red pants. And buying the red pants and everything you do, we do appreciate it. I do appreciate it. So here's what I uh, some questions I want. So I don't get to talk to fans or commenters that much. So when did you like come across Beckman's dog training? I assume you watched my channel, then came to the podcast, correct? Yeah. So I don't know exactly when. I've never, and not to sound like conceited to you know when this comes out, but. I've never really had a problem with dogs myself, but I've always been interested in it. And it, this guy over here is 11 and a half, so he's not a problem anymore. But when he was young, he was a giant pain. But the one I had in addition with him that since passed away is he um, was easy. So I read a, a Caesar book once, you know, I just kind of, I, delved into everything um but it's just interesting to me and i think i probably just was you know searching youtube and you know you type one thing in and it gives you every dog thing on the planet or jujitsu or whatever you want you know i that's why i don't type in zach george because i it ruins my feed so yeah I know. I hate that when I look You're at something huge and I'm Zach like, George I got it. Right? He, he loves Zach George. I love Zach George. Um, this is my dog. Oh, okay. Hold on. I keep it there. Hot dog, the dog, the only, the art. only art of teaching and training by whack George or whack. Whack George. Whack George. George. <laughs> whack. That's a better name than you gave him. You gave him a name once. Well, look at this. Whack. Don't Forge. shoot the dog, bro. Oh, by Karen Pryor. Yeah, like a a chicken. Yeah, you did you actually own that book, or did you buy that because we talked about it? So. Uh, I bought it because you brought it up a while back, and it's it's interesting. So I'm reading through it right now. No, it's kind of interesting. It's gonna actually be, I think, m- maybe mandatory reading for the Beckman coaching program because it, it's a good operant conditioning book. I talked to that lady. Did you hear that story? I talked to her. I was gonna be. I wanted to be a teacher for her school when I first started. And she's like, you have to go through the school. I'm like, not to be conceited like you, Ryan, but I was like, yeah, Whoa. I'm a freaking killer well trainer. No, you said you were, not me. I'm saying <laughs> you. you said. So I go, I'm not going to go through your school, lady. Like I just, I was a SeaWorld killer well trainer. I know more than you, Karen Pryor, about this stuff. She's like, you got to go through my school. Huh? Okay, yeah, I was, that's a little conceited of me. To when I me. started reading the preface, I was like, I get the right book because it sounds like Joel. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yes. my like my my history or something. Or the what? killer whale stuff, but it wasn't Sea World. It was some other thing that was similar in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I thought I was tripping. I'm sitting there riding the bike downstairs, and I'm like, what is going on here? I'm like, look at the page. Okay, I'm fine. Whatever. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do you live? I am I- in Iowa. So balmy, 56 degrees out right now. So Bro, so I know nothing about Iowa. In Des Moines or what? That's the only place I exactly. know. Exactly. Oh, you are? In right Des Moines? The airport, yeah. How many people are in Des Moines? Can I guess? Because I like to guess populations. Yeah, you, sure. you may not know. Well, Des Moines like not a tiny city, but it's got, I think Des Moines like, but the cities get, they exaggerate a lot of yeah, times. They right? the, the actual freaking outside. city. I'm going to guess the actual city. So if we look it up. I'm mean, gonna guess Des Moines got. It's got four hundred thousand people. I'd say at Maybe least eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred thousand people. Whoa. San Diego has one point like one. Yeah, but that's what the city and then the county. Well, is, we're not is, counting the county. The county's know. huge. Okay, what do you what do you know, Ryan? 
Uh, last time I checked, it was about 300,000. So I'm guessing it like Des Moines itself isn't expanding at all. Everything else is because it's yeah. the oldest part, but yeah. All right. I was close. I like that. It's a fun game. Um, cold in <laughs> Iowa. It's cold, right? 56 is, I mean, I can walk outside in a t-shirt, but no. you wouldn't from San Diego. You'd be like, I need a, a coat. But in the winter, like I, I saw oh, this. Oh, yeah, thing. dude. It would sub like 40 below sometimes. That's insane. It is. It's retarded. Someone just said it was interesting. I heard or maybe I read a book that that Native American book. They said the mid or the um the plains, which I think you are in Iowa, I think it's like a different kind of cold. It's just it's weird, like that whole area and then going west till you get it's, to like idaho it's just different it's brutal if you want to you talk about the santa Ana winds uh and the dogs i'll call these the santa clausia winds because they suck it, yeah. it's brutal they don't stop yeah so okay so you can't you you had a dog you sort of like found me on there um and then you you liked maybe my style or what i'm not sitting here asking for um uh, you to um, um, tell me I'm great. I'm just, I want to know your journey you can. to where you are. Well, I think I've already done that, haven't I? Oh, um. <laughs> uh, maybe. I mean, I know you like the channel. You like the podcast. I, I know stumbled that. across it. And for whatever reason, like I was a Caesar fan, but he, it wasn't a YouTube thing. That was back when, um, you going to come say hi, dude. Come here. Come here. What's his name? Lincoln. 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 He's not a dog that sees the TV and is like, oh, there's stuff on there. Um, yeah. Most dogs uh, don't. I, don't I wasn't, uh, you know, a Caesar fan when it was on TV and I'd watch it because I think it was on the same channel as HGTV. So it flowed. I, I, I do that kind of stuff, you know, home improvement stuff. But, uh, and and then you know years go by. I read some books, and then I, I, I honestly don't know the first video, but then I went back and I find myself. I mean, I watched the podcast multiple times. For one, I miss a lot of stuff, and I'm like, eh, whatever. Yeah. But uh, the training videos, like everybody says, well, the smart people, you break it down, you make it simple. And that's kind of how I've, not all of it, obviously, um, how I've always kind of thought about it. And maybe it's from having a couple dogs. Maybe it's it's from, and this is before I had a kid. <laughs> maybe it's from just uh, realizing what you're doing wrong and it's not working. And then you're like, okay, I got to try a different avenue. Yeah. Uh, they just make sense, man. Oh, good. Good. Okay. So they just make sense. And, uh, that's why you like them. And, and you're now like kind of a part of the podcast, which is awesome. And you still, so how do you, you, when I read your timestamps, it's kind of like what we said, but it's with a tinge of like, it's really a tinge like of sarcasm in sarcasm, some, right? Yeah. It's basically what we said. And then your interpretation of what we said but it's funnier than like I would be able it's to. It's like do. outlandish. That's for sure. Way. Like it's like uh, yeah. Is that how like, you think of it? Clickbaity. Uh, he cl <laughs> he really just did that to me, Eric. Um, no, it's like uh, how would you try to make this topic interesting and then throw some like oh you no, know. It's, it's interesting. It's like I I try to I what I've tried to think of it as in my brain is what comes in and then how can I just yeah. walk the line of not offending somebody, but offending somebody. And, and I don't mean to, I'm sure I have, but I mean, that's part of life. So it's, maybe it's part of the internet. I, that's it. It just, yeah. But try to make it funny. I don't even remember where it started. I think it was with like the pit bull one, mm. um, you know, how yeah. and, and uh, we desperately needed them, right? We desperately needed some timestamps on this. No, Odyssey. well, everybody was begging for them. And, I'm, you know, it's like, I don't know if that's extra work for you guys, but I'm like, well, I'll just mess around here. I was bored and then kind of stuck. And I, I don't know if you want to call it organic because it's the Internet, but it became like this strange uh, organic 
I guess friendship on the internet with all these people in the pod and there might be a question you're going to ask it's just a kind of a good group of people so it's a bromance uh, yeah i mean you can put it that way if you want yeah so i have a question uh -huh. this is actually from the comment section and it was from under duress and he was tagging our patrick <laughs> and he said and i want joel's reaction or thoughts on this uh our patrick I think you and Joel should conspire to let you get a private viewing of the podcast the day before so you can take your time with the timestamps oh, and have them the most epic without easy. editing Laugh Out Loud. That's but easy. It's actually a good idea because the problem if is he wants it. the timestamps aren't ready in time for when people watch it. And most oh. people watch it within the first 48 hours. And so, well, that would be a question for Ryan. It's easy. It's an unlisted video that I can just send you the link. But here, here's what. So you can have that if you want it. Here's what I don't want to happen. I don't want you, Ryan, to ever feel like you have to do anything. That's oh, what I don't want. You yeah. know, only I didn't even like know that was a thing. Under duress is probably he is smarter than me. And then with this text thing, I didn't know that was a thing. And he brought it up. I saw that comment. No, I wouldn't think of it as I have to do it. Um, I, I mean, I continue to do it. Somebody tried to uh, dethrone me, but... I saw that. They, they were actually pretty damn good. Um, I think it was the Aussie. You're being, you're being nice. They were no. fine. Yours are... Yours, yours fit the mold of His the podcast. His are known for being funny. Yeah. That's the thing. Uh, you told to me funny. not to tone it down a long time ago on That's just great. a comment so i figured if i if i crossed the line you'd be like yeah. hey dude <laughs> just blame joel there's no the line, there's no line joel. crossing ever i oh, laugh there is trust me i can do it but i'm not gonna for years yeah you could i suppose <laughs> you could but you haven't um yeah, dude, these are funny, dude. Sometimes I read it and I'm just like, I don't remember saying that. And I didn't say that, like the way it. you put it, but I did say something like that. Um, I mean, it's just, I just laugh, dude. That's the I, idea, man. For that is. Guys. Yeah, it's funny. I've it with means, my wife. I'll be like, this guy's funny. And then I we'll like, go through it and I'll be like, he said this to this. I like when like, I say, I'll say like, uh, yeah, like kids are a pain. And he's like, Joel freaking hates babies. Yeah, and I'm like, I did I say I hate babies? But it's great because you got to be, that's what the internet's about. Like you take something and you, not you or me, anyone. And we just exaggerate it like 10 times. Like yeah. that's what TikTok's for. That's what all this stuff's for is like just exaggerating things. And that's what you do. Yeah. And, and then what's great. funny too, remember uh, someone was complaining about how like Joel and Eric have all these inside jokes. And I was like, these aren't inside jokes. Anyone who's seen the podcast knows these jokes they're not like something you and i came up with it's just stuff that if you watched this is now episode 43 so if you've seen all 43 episodes you would be part of the in crowd so to speak yeah deep thoughts with it from within the government will eventually euthanize you if you cost it money like i basically said that yeah i know yeah and he's like yep does last writes week. it down like all this stuff what do uh, you think of our brick backgrounds be honest with us I think I typed that one out and I, I I felt bad, but I sent it anyway. I had to go full send on that one. So yeah. you were feeling like uh feeling like crap <laughs> from being well, that was the second that was the first week. That was my first week in Hawaii. Um yeah. yeah, but you brought it up and he's gotta find the stamp. I can find it too. It's on there. It's on the one he's reading. And I put like oh. quote, I put um Parentheses around the sorry part of it, Joel. Oh, I'm I'm on the brick background one. I think yeah. you guys are talking about the, the uh, first one we did. We had the living room one, and now it's, the, it's one the, the brick run. Brick the wall one. would. No, it's from the brick background one. Oh, that was last week. What did he say? What did he say? No, it's I was just the, asking him about what his thoughts were on the brick, and oh. also on just well, the, as far as like Max Headroom type stuff and cone heads and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, the head thing. I get why you do it. I like, a, I just, I, I, we wanted to have you on, man, because this is not easy. I know I said that to you in an email and you're like, it's no problem, but it's like, you know, it's not. It actually. makes the channel and, better. And, and if you're in, in, and I like that you're into it and we want you to be into it and it's freaking awesome. It just, it makes everything better and we appreciate you, you know? Yeah. It's awesome. I like it. And also the issue with the backgrounds is that I'm like in Hawaii 
and like I got a house behind me. I'm outdoors and like you could just have it out there. Just so weird. And then it, the inside we were there and it's like at my dad's house and it's just not professional, so to speak. So, but unfortunately, even with the backgrounds, it still wasn't professional. And as many, as we said earlier in this podcast, it looked like we're on the moon. And so <laughs> we are doing a, a resolution not to do any virtuals anymore I, for us. I would say the brick was a little worse than the one where it looked like you were in the same house, even though I agree, but it is what I get why you do it. It's, and we had to do it or we didn't have to. But. Yeah. Joel checks his egotistical ways while looking down on a thousand red angels. It's pretty good. Shots fired from Ryan. Um, Eric calls Joel average and that his wife thinks the same. It's great. This is good. It's freaking good stuff, dude. Like, just make sure to read them all before you post them just in case there's something that's just like. No. Catastrophic I, level. I don't. You might throw some like Zach George thing in there. That I, I just pin about. them. I just pin them. Pinning them is kind of like, like, uh, what do you, what would you call the word? Like endorsing, endorsing them. it. Don't you think? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. It's, That's it's, okay. um, uh, how would you put it in dog training? It's reinforcing, right? Oh, he's bringing it back to dogs. Damn. Hey, Our, you know, we don't talk about we dogs, don't talk on, about this dogs on this podcast I, for a couple minutes. I'm sure it's only, will. uh, Jordan and do this shit at night. And no, we will. Yeah. It's reinforcement. Um, yeah, you're you're fully getting reinforced by it being pinned. Yeah. What do you, what are your thoughts on the lack of dog training content on the podcast? On the yeah. podcast, I think a lot of people, including myself, I mean, you're going to get some of it because that's what Joel does. But unless he, you guys get on a topic, the tangents are awesome, and honestly, it feeds me and i get positively and reinforced from the crazy stuff that i say from that so i'm i'm down with 100 yeah. percent. i see the comments too and i mean teach their own but i mean i don't think you guys are changing and i don't think i'm gonna so a lot of people yeah, like the way it is yeah we're i think we're running out of all content in a way like like, weirdly what we should do is like from the news like i was gonna do that on the way over here i was like looking through dog stories from the last you know week we could do something like that yeah i you just know, think but... it's tough because there's all of the actual specific training stuff we've there's yeah. over 500 videos so it's tough to do that yeah because like why wouldn't you just send them to a video that has 500 000 views that is answering their question specifically yeah right yeah so then it just becomes like i want to talk about conspiracy theories yeah and, and all this stuff and you know ultimately things, that's what you care about people in iowa cruising around in the middle of nowhere like like to hear what are the gun laws like i know in, you don't live in, in iowa the nowhere, are they good well, it, it, now it's changed and you don't even have to have a permit so oh. how about hunting can you hunt out there oh yeah dude people come tail? to hunt here yeah oh yeah um, yeah they have uh what charter type things where you know people with land will that's what they do southern iowa mainly oh yeah i was big on the credit card space too did you know this I knew some people that were on the credit card team that came out from Iowa. I guess there was a big company maybe 20 years ago. So like a lot of that came from Des Moines, I guess. Oh, Des Moines. Yeah. Let's say it's interesting. Like Omaha is big in insurance. Yeah. They're big in credit card too. Yeah. What's the, what's, what's the nearest, um, uh, bigger, big city like Omaha or Chicago or it's Chicago, right? Isn't it kind of, well, not being a suburb, which are, just blowing up around here which or anywhere oh really oh yeah dude like uh like ankeny waukee is massive we've got microsoft's and apples that are going up because the grid is so stable here oh um and they're just there's just data centers popping up everywhere but there's a lot of suburbs that are getting just massive some of them have like four high schools and they didn't have but one until like five, six years ago. It's insane. So oh. it sounds like you're closest to Kansas City and then maybe Milwaukee. Casey's oh, yeah. about two and a half hours south of me. I'm on uh I'm by the airport, so I'm not far from the interstate to just shoot down. Omaha. What's your address? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Keep going, Ryan. 
Omaha is about two hours. Yeah. We're looking at it right now. We're looking. At it. I love this. Chicago. I do this at work every time someone talks about a place like me and my boss, but like bring up Google Maps. <laughs> I'll start looking. Yeah, you're up. like weirdly close to a lot, like kind of close to a lot of things. It's like Minneapolis, Chicago. Yeah, that's about Omaha. Four and a half. That's how like the Midwest is, though. Yeah. It's like I mean, it's not close, but there's a bunch of places I've never been to that are kind of like if I live. If I went there, I'd like want to go to Kansas City and then like go to Chicago. Have you ever been to the Midwest? No, I have never been to the Midwest. What do they call that flyover country? I yeah, that's what that. they call it. He's Jason Aldean fan, are you? Jason Aldean, is he from there? No, he has a song called Flyover States. Oh, nice. Yeah, I didn't know, like, ex I didn't have any clue where it was at, like, in relation oh, to St. Louis. Stuff. It seems like something that would be on, um, what was that kind of gang show it was like or not gang show it was like a mafia show recently that came out is like a series on oh fargo the fargo series yeah fargo's not a freaking gang or mafia show dude. no it had a series in like kansas city mafia oh you haven't uh, been well there's up. a fargo movie but i don't think that's up like in the dakotas i believe and yeah they have a sh they have a show have you seen the show or no i i've, I've not watched it but I, I know yeah, I've heard the about the show's it. actually really good, and there's oh. like multiple seasons, and it's all like basically based on Midwest. But a lot of it is like bringing multiple of these Midwestern cities in there, and then they would do like Kansas City, and they would do some other ones. And I was like, "How are they doing that?" And then I'm like, "Oh, those are actually really close, like Nebraska. Like I had no idea Omaha and Kansas City were close to each other. You had no idea Omaha and Kansas. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah, how would I know that? I mean, unless I yeah. studied the map as a child, yeah. which clearly I did not. Yeah. So let me ask you this. So uh, uh, Des Moines, I think I said it right. Um, yeah. You guys are sport football fans, generally speaking, right? Could be different from, is it, do you guys go KC? Do you go Chicago? As far as pro, I would say it's KC and Chicago. And then um, college is big here. Iowa and Iowa State are, uh, Iowa is closer to Illinois. And then Iowa State's about 30 minutes north of me. So the, the state's kind of, if you want to say split in half with those two teams as far as college, because they're, you know, interstate rivals, whatever. Yeah, but Iowa, had, like they've had some okay football. They've never really done much in football or basketball, though. So, uh, I, or Iowa. Or Iowa, Iowa State. Is it Iowa? Is Iowa, Iowa State's good not? right now. I, Iowa State in what? Basketball, um, the biggest, not as far as in basketball in general, right now, the the best girl in collegiate basketball is oh, from, yeah. from Des Moines. So, Dude, you're right. She's from Des Moines? Yeah. She's, she's so big. It's crazy. Yeah. She, well, they're comparing her to MJ. So, I mean. Yeah. That's something. Which, which they always do. She's all over the news. Like She's like the biggest basketball star in the history of college or probably pro now. Pro women's, I mean. Yeah, I, yeah, probably. No, I mean, was that the girl who did the three point shooting with Steph Curry or no? Yeah, was it? I think so. And yeah. She launches the ball from like half court, and it's like a, a free throw to her. Yeah, she did lose to Steph Curry, but I mean, who wouldn't, right? Yeah, right. and uh, I actually disagreed with her a little bit. I saw a quote, and she's or somebody goes, "Oh, that was really brave of her to do." No, it was brave for Steph Curry to do. <laughs> Like he's the one who had something to lose. Yeah, yeah, she had nothing to lose. Like, you know. So anyway, but, yeah, uh, losing to Steph Curry. I mean, there's no shame in that. Of course not. Like he he's the one that if he loses, that's a bit of a problem. But not. Yeah, really. I don't think he thinks he would lose. Uh, <laughs> no, and he probably wouldn't, and he obviously didn't. But all right, you have any questions for us, buddy? Oh I, yeah, he put me on the spot. I don't yeah. know. Um. What do you guys like about the group of people that you have on your podcast in, in the comments? Good question. That's a good question. I am surprised, to be honest with you, at, and so I've tried to figure out like why people like this podcast. Um, I think we got him in the door with the dog training, and it wasn't a goal to like go, we're going to go somewhere else. You just put us here for an hour and a half, and we're going to talk about other stuff. But um, I'm, I like, I like what you bring to the table. I like what a lot of the people bring hardcore. to the table. A lot of the hardcore fans. And just, I, it's cool that people are down with some of the stuff that we talk about. But, and, and I'm, it's just surprising to me that people are down. And I think 
I think there sometimes when I go hard or Eric, Eric goes hard on a subject, you know, people like that. People want there's things that I say sometimes that I think are I mean, I I don't say everything that's on my mind, but I think people uh people are like, Oh, I'm glad you said that. And maybe they don't watch a podcast where someone said that. You know, and mm-hmm. there's there's people if you watch like Tim Dillon or you watch there's people who say anything that's not me, but people like when you kind of go hard and I kind of go hard and yeah, you kind of go hard. You're being real, right? And we talked about this before we turn on the podcast too, that as we've thought through, you know, frequencies, stuff like how often are we going to do it? Time, do we do it for one hour, two hours, whatever. Um, but we were just talking earlier about like how good the pod is. And then some of the people, like okay. I had that comment about, or I was talking about my grandma who has Alzheimer's and someone's like, yeah, like, I'm praying for your grandma. And I'm like, bro, we got some really solid people here that like, yeah, there's some shitheads of course, but like there's so many good people on there that I'm like, this is a special deal that yeah. kind of Joel kind of put in the pot. And then also too, but even from the very beginning, um, the very first video, yeah, we were or within by the second one, you're already talking about animal rights activists and like oh. all this other stuff and like had to cut some of it out because it was too much. Oh yeah. Right. So this is from the beginning. You were already like leaning into we should the craziness. Say it now, whatever we we're going to cut out. Wasn't I, I was like, these people will come for you and like, yeah, you they were will talking about burn your house you were down talking about and we like buildings. cut it out. I was like worried. You're talking about bit. buildings and stuff. And so we didn't want to like, it was a bit much, but it wasn't wrong. Like we, we stopped it and we we're like, Hey, is this okay? And then, and then you're like, I don't even know if any of that's true. And then I Googled it all and it was all true. Oh yeah. And then I was like, well, it is true. And then you're like, these people, I don't even want that's to get right. into it. You know, that's right. So I talked about the history of the animal rights and how brutal it is and how extreme they are. Go ahead. I think, I, like I, I think when you talk about that and I've read a lot of the comments, it's kind of a, you know, I just, I do it because I'm already in there. So I'll flip through them and then I'll pick some things, not necessarily to win an argument about, but to like add to and see what someone says. Sometimes it's for fun. Sometimes it's to learn, you know? And yeah. when you say stuff like that, like it's true. You don't have to be you to, to you just have to be able to accept someone else's opinion and think a little bit because the stuff you're saying about, the animal rights stuff and in the agendas and all that, like it's, you don't have to be a, a rocket scientist to make it make sense in your head. Like nobody's, they're not doing it for free. And there's a reason all this stuff is kind of intertwined. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, no, that's true. And I was reading one of your retorts to Mine? somebody. Or no, his. uh, our Patrick's right. Like, I'm going to call him our Patrick. You can't, I'm going to call him. I, and then if we get the name of, uh, of like uh, off grid dogs, I can't. I got to call them off grid dogs. Okay. Like people are yeah. not going to know who the hell that we're talking about otherwise. Right, so, um, but you, you had one, uh, you had one, and you were saying like, or they were like, they're going off on these random tangents, right? And you're like, yeah, dude, that's what they do. And you're like, but that's, and then they're like, yeah, I don't really like it. I think it's it'd be better this way. And you're like, yeah, but they don't like it, and they're <laughs> probably not going to do something that they don't like. It's a good retort. So yeah, you're fighting the good fight in the trenches, which we appreciate. Yeah, sometimes I feel like you you guys in, don't have time, and I'm sure you don't. I know you're busy. So I'll just go in there and try to get people to delete their bad comments. Huh. Yeah. And it's happened once or twice. I mean, the, the good one got deleted, and I felt bad for it getting deleted. But, I mean. What do you mean? The one from um, Chris Dan. Christine. I didn't say it. You said it. Um, yeah. The one that had like 90 plus comments. I, I wish that one would have stayed. Oh, yeah. You emailed me about no? that. I know. Yeah. The bat. Wait, it was a it was a not nice comment. I shame. I shame pinned it. Is that the one? Yeah. The one that took a life of its own. And that, that was one, off. That was on the real channel, wasn't it? That was the oil and water one, but it filtered in. Yeah. The next week. That's the kind of stuff I'm not going to let go. Right. Yeah. And she, she took it off, right? Yeah, it was an email. She was emailing you, and then she was like, you don't get back to your customers. Oh, yeah, then I shame you. Like, you're not even my it, customer. It just right? got to the point where like, the guy's doing some good stuff. Just let him 
do what he's good at. And I, there's, I, I know the background behind it mm. and it, uh, um, it was on the cover of that book, but in different terms at the bottom. So <laughs> were I, you in, go ahead. Were you involved in the, oh. um, the controversy with the, gal it was on the biden one it was on one of the biden episodes yeah. remember and then there was like there was like do you remember that joel there was like mm. a bunch of people that were like she, she was, was like getting was into lying it. about something or, oh. or joel was not telling the truth and she misunderstood what i said oh she she at first thought i was like against whatever you were saying and i don't do politics in the sense of the internet because it does zero good. No, you know what I mean? Yeah. You and Eric are on the same page with that. Go ahead. What but you're saying? not, I've noticed. I don't know. No, no but really. remember what it was. It was like, you were saying, should we, should I have a vote of whether or not this person should be banned from the channel? You uh, don't remember that? Oh yeah. Did I, I, yeah, yeah. I don't know. You're like, I'm going to let this person determine if this person oh, is yeah. banned. What happened? Oh, that? Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. that was What happened? Crazy. Did I ever ban him? No, I don't think so. Oh. No. That's when you, I think that's when you told me not to tone it down. I told you to tone it down? No, not to tone it down. I oh. emailed you and said, hey, I don't, I don't want to. Oh, I think I remember that. that basically. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, funny. yeah, yeah. I do remember that. That was the first time you. That's fine. Yeah. It's a lot to remember. Yeah. Yeah. I do remember I gave the power to the people. I remember? liked that. That's I want to keep logo. doing that. That's your, that's your strategy. I want strategy. to keep doing that. That's what my boy Elon Musk did too. He basically like will post something and it'll be like, should I freaking make this platform like free? And he's like, I'll go with what, you know, 51%. He's like, leave it up to the mob. He's like, man. leave it up to the people. I like that. I like that too. Yeah. That's fantastic. All right. Um, any more questions for Ryan? No, I just want to thank Ryan for, uh, those, yeah. those, those, uh, when I go into the, once it gets posted, I'm always usually pretty busy, but by nighttime I'm able to go and sometimes I'll pin, pin it if Joel hasn't already pinned it. And then I'll go through. That's like the one thing I start with. I read, um, your thumbnails or your, um, your timestamps. Yeah. And then once I do that, I'll, I usually like, cause it refreshes what I, what was in the podcast to me. Yeah. So I'll go watch it. Yeah. And then usually I don't actually, sometimes I'll read all of them right away. And then sometimes I won't read them until the, like today, for instance, when we record, I'll read all the, the pot. I like today. I read all the comments from the prior week. Yeah. Cause I like that. Cause then it's like fresh in my mind. Whereas if I read it Bro, the day it comes out. I didn't different. read the comments from the last podcast till later because I, I, I just did not like the, that podcast i just didn't, didn't like, like anything wall. about it so i was like i'm not gonna read these comments and they were good but i was like i'm not reading these dude i am not happy we with should call podcast. it max hedrum brick wall it would be like yeah perfect name people so. some guy was like i hate max hedrum i was yeah. like all right I, and I, someone I know. else said they loved him i was like yeah it's what the, the same hell? person every week that hates something yeah uh, is it really or are you just saying that no, the same guy. Oh. nine times out of 10. Yeah. It's just always a negative thing. And I get it. It's the internet, but yeah, hey, come on. I mean, yeah. You, you didn't hear the beginning of this podcast. I went off on that. So you'll hear it when this gets posted. Um, what was I going to say? I was just going to freaking say something. Um, probably it's going to be super fun. Something too. about his timestamps. I don't remember. Bro. Must have been. Um, oh yeah. Here's what I do. Yeah. I, I read them. And then I, I laugh and then I sometimes go back and watch the part of the, uh, that he said, and I'll be like, oh yeah. And then I'll just, I, I think you like, I think it, it's reinforcing to be like, this is my favorite one. So that's what I do. Yeah. When you go in and you get like, when you're like, I don't understand why you said that. And then you click it and then you're like, oh, okay, I get it. I yeah. Get Cause it. it'll be yeah. like one, it's like subtle. three seconds of yeah. a thing and he picks up on it and he writes it in there and I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. I forgot funny. about that. Yeah. Under duress scolded me for, uh, my them not being exact and I, I say that in a kidding way but sometimes they're off because it's usually done on a phone on 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 a laptop you don't have a little timestamp button that i can find but on the phone it pops up when you in the comments so i can just hit it and go back sometimes it's off by like a second or two so i'll just backtrack but it's not always perfect and I, i'd be down to figure out the uh the deal before it goes live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Joel can help you figure that out. Cause uh -huh. that would make way better on the viewing experience. If All okay I will do it. is it's an unlisted video. Okay. For those who don't understand YouTube, you can post something as public unlisted or private. 
unlisted is weird though, because I'll do unlisted. If you have the link, you can watch the video. So I'll just send you the link. You watch it, whatever. Um, do your thing. And then it'll be posted the next day. Or I might have to do it that night. Cause I don't always, whatever. Um, but unlisted is weird. I've, I've done a few unlisted and then people are like comment. I'm like, yeah. how did you see this? Yeah, it's it like, like gets through somehow. or something. Yeah, it's kind of fishy, it's but then weird. private will not show for private, a non private. Yeah. yeah, it'll only show for you because if I use it on my YouTube channel, it won't show me. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. which is frustrating. So, um, I have a parting question for Ryan. my friend or Patrick. Go ahead. So, I remember reading some of the comments that you and I think under duress were talking about, and it was something to do with Zach George or something, and it was some comment, and then. We ended up doing a uh, uh, we ended up doing a roulette, a comment roulette. I was just wondering, what do you th can you believe the chances of that? That of all the comments that got spun around, that oh, that yeah. was the one that we landed on. You know, isn't that amazing? Talking about that today with somebody, I think it was my sister, joking about it, and I was like, it's like winning the lottery, man. I don't know how they <laughs> how they did it. It's I mean, I don't. Know. Yeah, I mean, you'd almost think that it was like staged Planned or something, something, you know? No, like nothing staged in life. There's no way. No, I mean, it's all everything's on the up and up, right? There's no agenda, you know. Just do what you're told, and you'll get you'll do well in life, right? Yeah. Yep. Treats and um. Yeah. There you go. You just eat your kibble and and do what you're told, right? <laughs> hey, yeah. Ryan, we appreciate you, man. Thanks for coming on. on. Thanks, guys. All right, we'll tell Joel to hook you up with the link, okay, man? All right, uh, we'll try to figure it out. I don't want to make it too hard on you guys. All right, buddy. Sounds good, brother. Thank awesome, you. brother. Thank you, man. Thanks, bye. Later. All right. That was awesome. It was good. Our Patrick. That was amazing. Ryan in Iowa. Yeah. So I that wouldn't was... lose people. I find it interesting, like where the hell Des Mo the, Des Moines is. Yeah. Can we talk about Dalmatians? Sure. Have we done Dalmatians for uh, Breed of the Week? No. So, because there's almost none of them. Tell me what you know about Dalmatians, other than a hundred. I know about hundred and one Dalmatians, but like, what do you know beyond that? They, they bite tend people, to don't have they? an aggressive streak in them. Um, they used to sit on the back of fire engines. Um, <laughs> they were George. in a movie. Um, it's got to be a weird thing to select for. I, I don't know their history. They're cool looking don't dogs. They have like a issue with blindness or something a lot and any white dog has some eye issues yeah really i'll say this i don't know much about dalmatians i've probably trained i had one in a class once I, i'm gonna add two to that list i'm gonna i probably trained three mm. so they're not common but they used to be like everyone had them right? after 101 dalmatians in like the 60s or whatever i'm sure they blew up yeah do you remember that uh cartoon the cartoon, the I movie, did another one. Yeah, was like a, a little bit. Then we we fashion. watched me and my kid. The kids watched Cru Cruella. Well, I was thinking Lady of the Lady and the Tramp. Actually, that's a different one. Yeah, that's a different one. Yeah, that's a hound and some pretty. But both of lady them were dog cartoons first, yeah, Disney, right? Yeah, and then they made them like real live action. Is that what they call it? Live action. Yeah. Um. So you don't you rarely see them. You rarely, yeah. But you know what? Like, they're are they basically similar to like a lab? Maybe they look a little bit like a lab. They look a little like a lab. But if you look at their head like a real Dalmatian, like you had, I know you had it oh, up yeah, right yeah. here and yeah. some dog uh, um, AKC thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, they look different. Their heads are kind of unique and cool. They almost why have a, why don't they have a boxier picture of them? head. Like, why is it I'm like looking at Dalmatian and there's no picture on AKC? I'm about to get out of here and go to trusted Wikipedia. There they are. They're cool. They look really kind of cool. I think I should share this with the, with the. That one doesn't look cool. No. Yeah. No. Let me go back. Whatever. Um. Yeah. They're cool. They're cool. Apparently, they 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 can be aggressive. If anyone out there has had an aggressive one, let's share the screen just so that people can see. Yeah. And a anybody listening, we're showing you a picture of a Dalmatian. The Dalmatian. Yeah, they are nice looking. Country of origin. I'm gonna guess England. Size, I'm going to guess 60 to 80 pounds. I think less than 80. Well, females. I feel like the, I was watching something on wolves and like the wolves were getting into the 90 pound range was like a good size wolf. Yeah. And I don't know. I think, don't you think people always overestimate yes, how heavy I dogs do. are? And which makes me underestimate them sometimes. And so I'm like go, surprised. You go too far in the wrong direction. Yeah. Cause I'm. 
let's go back to this. Um, let's go back to the doll. I feel like the, you get good information on Wikipedia, at least just high level, right? Hunting dog originally, carriage dog. Croatia. Croatia. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, there's the Dalmatian. Yeah. So Joel knows, just like other, every other breed of the week, right? Knows very little about the old Dalmatian. Ryan in the timestamps, breed of the week um, fails spectacularly. Which is just totally the case. Yeah, that's, um. what do you, th so do you know about, let me stop sharing the screen here. Do you know about like the hawks of a deer? No. Like, you know, like, I know what like a hawks the, are and a deer like is. Bottom section below the shank. Okay. Right? Go ahead. So um, how do you think those are as far as like good for a treat for a dog? With with skin. With Fantastic. Uh, fur. Love it? They love it. Well, I know they love it. I was oh. wondering if like you love it. As to a eat it? Dog person. Yeah, I mean. For me to eat it. Not for you to eat it. For oh. No, like no one wants to eat that because it doesn't really have much meat in it. Oh, I it's think it's more great. Like, um, so you think like fur and all hoof and all just toss oh. them over. That's a common thing in hunting is like basically taking off the, um, hawks, so to speak. And giving and then, them to the dogs. Yeah. And just giving them to the oh, dogs. It sounds and, awesome. I mean, they love them. That's great. Like they love it. Good. Like, isn't it exciting that, I mean, I'm not like the dog dog guy. Right. But like, it's always cool to see a dog so happy. Oh yeah. From like eating meat fresh meat yeah they know it too right they know all they're like oh this is this is something different oh yeah dude deer yeah it's great it's different too like in hawaii where they have deer yeah so they like the deer are there so they must know like oh that's a deer out there yeah I right bet they do yeah makes it probably way more cool for them maybe because they're eating it yeah it's not like a bully stick from the store or something right oh yeah you're yeah. not into that no. yeah no, that's pretty rad. So anyway, so what else do we do? Oh, apology. So you did the apology. Yes. The apology is for terrible production two weeks in a row. Yep. Yep. We're not doing that again. So what do you think about pre-recording it? How would that affect everything? We wouldn't have uh, comments for the second recording. So if we record you two videos, you're saying? If we, Yeah. I mean, essentially, if we were out of town, like, are you going out of town anytime soon? No. No, like Mexico trips or anything like that, bro. I went to um, Kalima, and people were in the comments. I told the pod about it, and they're like, "Why would you be in Kalima?" And it's and then I saw this thing, and it's like the most it's the most dangerous city in the world. Really? Yes. If you, I don't know if that's accurate, but it was on a list, and it was number one. And then the first five were Mexican cities. It was like Juarez and whatnot. Yeah. Kalima was on there. I was there like a month ago. If you go onto the Secretary of State's website, no, yeah. I'm not saying there's not Kalima's stuff. on there. But, it, um, and it shows you, so because, um, my, you know, they were trying to take my daughter to Mexico city. And so I was like, all right, let me go look at this Mexico city, stuff, fine. see what's going on. They, there's like, basically like red is like, don't go red, orange, yellow, and green, I think is something like that. And yeah. so some places you'd be surprised of, but essentially for, for Mexico, like some of it was yellow, but some of it was red. Yeah. And some of it like red is like Darfur and like like yeah, yeah, yeah. like Iraq. Mogadishu. Like yeah, yeah, like full on war zone. Port level. of Prince. Yeah. Yeah. And they were Oh, I know. And but I mean, bro, 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 Baltimore's like that. I know that what's funny about Detroit's that. Detroit's like that. If you look at economic uh there's like different like freedom things, they like these indexes, like safety indexes and freedom indexes. And so like what the economic freedom is. And then also like what the safety is, especially for like Latin America. I've been into that a lot. So I always want to be like, what's the safest place in Latin America I yeah. can go. Right. And I look at it and then I'd look at like what the most safe and dangerous cities are. And I'm like, this, this city is like, even though it's like in um, what, like Nicaragua or, or maybe um, what's El the one El Salvador, which gets a ton of heat. Right. is like still better than, um, than, um what, yeah what was it it was like Kent st City. louis yeah yeah then st louis i was like because you know i'd go to st louis in a heartbeat like I i'll know. go anywhere in the country so like you know what i mean i do i've i've looked at that myself and been like wait what freaking baltimore's above this place yeah you're but like you know how to navigate this country whereas you yeah. don't know how to navigate another city and that's the problem as i see it yeah is there some level of like it's your home and so it's like you're not a foreigner you know, you just understand where not to go, you know, 
Yeah. Like there are cities in Europe that you're like, oh, go to Paris. Don't go to certain parts of Paris, bro. Yeah. Like the place I was in Hawaii, Freaking right? No, no go zones. Cops don't go there. Like the place I was in Hawaii, everyone says, you know, you just, the, they don't want you there, get out of there kind of thing. And I was like, and then it's like the people are very mean. And I was like, uh -huh. I was like, no, I was like, I was given. I've never experienced so that Hawaii, much ever. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the island. It depends on like the I've part of the island. Of yeah. But it's like, if you like go in there, like so with some yeah. amount of humility. I'm just humble. Yeah. I mean, you're, I mean, I'm humble. well, you're also Beckman from Beckman dog training. So that goes a long way. But like, if you're humble and you just like are respectful and courteous and not acting like a goof, you know. You're fine. Yeah, no one gives you a hard time. Yeah. Like people are happy that you're nice in general. I think anywhere you go. So yeah. you just have to be careful. And then also I think the drinking and the staying out late yeah. in foreign countries is probably how a lot of bad stuff starts. Absolutely. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what do you want to do? Wrap this thing up. How are we doing on time? 105. Yeah. You into this or what? Into what? Did you have? Did you not have any like crazy intro that was like dog training intro? Or it no, was. It was that? my Dave Portnoy thing. About that's loose. It buddy. was. It was. It was loose. It was. I mean, we can. Oh, I didn't. What do you want? Comments. You want potty training? I didn't even get to the comments. You want not you, but like no one. No one cares about potty training. I gotta read the comments, bro. Read the comments. Okay. I, I mean, literally spent this all this podcast, time reading all of them, and then I've you're thought like, oh. about it. Is this? You know, you want um, separation anxiety? Half the people are going to tune out. Not half. More than half. They really don't care. That's the stuff. They're like, they don't care about what we're talking about randomly. And they also don't care about what we're talking about. It's like dog specific. So it's like, yeah, the, the dog specific stuff is fine. They just, if, if it's a specific problem, this is long form. The, the goal of this podcast was to go, hey, we're going to talk about potty training for 15 minutes and go deep dive into it because I'm not going to make an individual video about it because it doesn't, I have, but I'm probably not going to make many because we got better videos than a potty training video. Watch someone else for potty training. Watch someone else for sit. Watch someone else for down. Watch someone else for stay. That is not Beckman training channel worthy. That Aggression is and the, reactivity are your... That is the coaching program yeah. worthy. You know... What's the coaching program, Joel? The Beckman coaching program. We'll be launching it in three weeks, approximately. And it's to become a dog trainer, social media, um, um, learn how to help her dog. It's going to be a belt system, white. White, blue, purple, brown, black. Black. We think it'll take about a year and a half, two, two and a half years to become a Beckman coaching black belt. Yeah. We'll then refer you business. Um, and you'll be, you'll, you'll, you'll have a social media. By the time you're black belt, you're going to have a social media presence. I don't know if that's required, but. Pretty much. It, to, I mean, you all have a presence, but how big will the presence be? No, I mean, be? they don't need to be Beckman dog training level, but you if need to be If you're a black to... belt in Beckman coaching program, you should have 100,000 people on some platform. 50? You don't even need that, though. I'm not saying you need it. I'm saying I think you could be there. But yeah, if you spend three years doing what we're telling doing you what... to do, you're going to be over 1,000. You're, you're you going to be a good a thousand, trainer. Yeah, you're, and then you're going to have the videos to back it up where you can That's post what I'm saying. it. You're going to have, okay, I've got this. You know, I've actually learned all of the basic, obe not just obedience, but just the basic training stuff the helper dog stuff, right? The um, aggression and reactivity that yeah, you're, you're going to be for. a good enough trainer to have followers. Yeah. That people want to watch what you're doing. And if you, all you do on social media is make good videos and then you get followers. If yeah. you're a good trainer, you'll have people. That's exactly. And we're right. not going to mess around. You're not going to be some cutesy TikTok person that's doing little, little dances with your dog. Like you're going to film or try to film sessions, edit them, put them out. And if you do that, People will fall. People will yeah. follow you. But if you That's if you are doing the cute stuff, right? If you're doing the cute stuff and you are um, bringing people, you know, bring bringing millions of people in through these TikTok videos or whatever. If it works for you, then cool, right? Yeah, but sprinkling some dog training if you're part of our program. True. Right. Yeah, you I would mean, hope so. Yeah. Here, I thought about like because I'm now getting bigger on TikTok. I I'm like, okay, I could do a TikTok-y thing. And I'm like, it's going to get n not even a 10th of views of me just repurposing a YouTube video and putting it on TikTok. Well, also the winners are like, there's winner videos and loser videos, right? Like, yeah. Oh, repurposing a good video from YouTube and putting it on TikTok, even eight minutes, which is super long, will get more 
views than any TikToky video. Like my vi my my dog training is the content. Yeah, I've heard Gary V, who you've heard about, right? Yeah, he's talked about this before, uh, and I was a fan of that guy a long time ago, and shared some of his insights. But he was like saying, you know, testing this stuff out. He was like, those videos have been time tested, right? So that we yeah. know like the hound video works. We know that the alpha video works. So yeah. we know these things work. So it's like, you don't need to like question when you go onto Instagram or TikTok, like, is this a good video? Like it's going to run, it's going to do well. And on any, on any platform. And that's what this, this, the animal trainer guy on TikTok just took all my videos and just put them on TikTok. And I don't know how to get him off there, but now he's doing other people's videos. Um, all he did is take my best videos, put them on TikTok. He has a hundred thousand freaking followers. He yeah. started a week and a half ago of yeah. just stealing my video. That's smart. <laughs> he's a smart guy, dude. Now he's putting other people on there and maybe they know how. To... I don't really care if he, if they kick him off. I kind of don't want him to be kicked off in a way. Yeah, you feel like you're kind of like feel snitching like on him kind of. feel kind of bad. Yeah, snitches get stitches, dude. That's what they say. Um, yeah. Even though it's my content. Okay, so, oh, can you tell him how to get onto the Beckman coaching program email beckman ventures at gmail.com will you put it in the link too yeah you would never and in the description either, right? no never happened i posted a video uh, one day early and i forgot a few things but no I'm pretty good yeah you're for your age you're doing pretty well right yeah. um okay so sue foster says she was talking about like a lot of the people that were oh no she was actually not she was saying i think you both look great stop picking on joel eric i looked horrible I look so much better than I did in that video last week. Go this ahead. person, Steve Tablet, said, the reality about your grandmother is she should be at home with you. I was like, oh, I saw that. I was like, and then someone else jumped that's in and was like, dude, that's like 24 hour care. And it's like, I don't even think the family would allow that. Like there's, four, family? there's four different siblings that are her kids. Like they wouldn't allow you to take care of her. I mean, I have a full time. I have. I'm pretty busy. Well, that's you. But I'm they wouldn't saying. allow you? Oh. Or I'm not because they don't trust me, but like, it's like grandparents. Like you just, I mean, if you were only had one kid or something, it would make sense that you would go with that. Oh, yeah, but like, you're right. It wouldn't be like, hey, she's staying with me. They'd be like, why? What you, yeah, what's yeah, the yeah, grandson yeah, yeah. got to say about this? So anyways, they they jumped in and I thought that was good. So anyways, Just Don says, I thought there's some good comments here. Uh, Just Don says, I love your guys' ability to stay the course of goodness through your own introspection. I hope you stay humble. I think you both would be pretty obnoxious if you didn't. Thanks for the pod. Uh, laugh out loud. Uh, a serious topic it, I wasn't even aware of until yesterday is the feral cat population destroying 60 plus species. I've heard that. And then said, someone says, Slimy, Slimy says, care. Joel is a bit arrogant, but in a good way. Uh -huh. And then um, under I said, that are you saying that feral cats are causing over 60 kinds of animals to go extinct or just that they kill that many varieties? But you know, cats are killing just like crazy amounts of birds and stuff. That's what I hear. That's oh. what they say. I mean, I, my cats I see bring a lot, birds I, down. So I, mean, I see I, a lot of birds flying around out there. True. But I also see my cats eating a lot of birds, but they eat more yeah. lizards than birds, right? From what I've seen. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's fine. Um, giving a little love to off off grid dogs, Tampa, Florida. I'm not off the grid. Wish I was off grid dogs refers to getting our dogs off the grid out of the matrix and escaping the clutches of the pet industrial complex. So avoiding things like neutering kibble, bad dog training advice, like not correcting your dog, fully in tick medicine, buying dogs from puppy mills, et cetera, et cetera. So get ready, grandpa. Mm. That's a good comment, right? Yeah. I think that was one was goody. Uh, um, Andy Jarman said, it's uncanny how the bricks in the background are identical in both studios. I know. That was good. Um, so Under Duress is bringing up a comment about like how like his, it's, we're not getting into his feed or whatever. And he has to go to the channel specifically to find your videos. Well, something we should look government. into. Government, yeah. I think someone's trying to suppress you, Joel. Yeah, the government. Um, YouTube. Um, they demonetized the freaking well, my video two weeks ago. You know that for oh, nothing. I know. YouTube. Well, is, we didn't find out why, did we? No. They just. I said, have someone watch it. You hit this button, and someone reviews it. And they're like, nope, you've been denied. It's like, okay, free video for everybody. 
Yeah, no, no ads, no money from it. It's number two video. It's do good we know video. they probably run ads and just don't pay it though? Oh, no, I don't think. I so. bet you they do. I don't know. I bet you they just throw the like. I don't know strip club type of ads on there. They're like, oh yeah, this is what this comment gets. Um, this one was interesting. Um, I mean, it's a little bit too dog training ish for us, but yeah. how about this? Um, and it's a little bit into the Beckman coaching program, but Nick Fox says. Another attempt at getting Joel's opinion on which dog breeds he'd recommend as helper dogs, besides Dobies, of course. Oh, Rottweilers. Would be fantastic to know. Okay, you're going to go on record. Dobies, Rottweilers, helper Rottweilers, dogs. Rottweilers, number two. Depends. I saw that comment. Um, a helper dog can be many different things. And this for a coaching program, too. Um, you don't. Your helper dog doesn't have to be Prince. Like, that's going to be tough. Okay? Your helper dog needs to be a good dog. They need to not be aggressive dog. That's really all. That's but what type of size bottom. are we looking at? I mean, yeah. they need to be size, somewhat. Size matters. They have to be yes. big enough to take like hits, like rough play. They can't be a little dog. Um, but How many pounds are we looking at as an adult? 60 plus. Can't be less than 60. Nah, it's a bit small. Male like, or female? Uh, Helper dog prefer uh, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter no no neutered not neutered doesn't matter N uh, not neutered excuse me a intact dog is going to the other dogs are not going to like your helper dog if he's intact at times that happens but uh what do you call it intact female other helper dogs dog might try like to might be yeah that might be a problem as well um just having your dog come out in heat, like to help someone else's dog, seems. Yeah, you really a helper dog can be um, neutered. It's not the worst thing in the world, but then you get into you want to neuter your dog and cut off a very vital thing. Probably not. But you're okay with neutering to some extent, right? You just don't like yeah. the early neutering. Yeah, yeah. Prince is like highly, not highly sexual, but like I mean, it's his job in life to pee on other dogs' pee. Not to say neutering, it wouldn't actually make it any better at this point. But um, he's like a pee connoisseur. So he'll go lick pee. And he's like, oh, and he'll like taste it. It's disgusting. He does a lot of stuff that's disgusting though, right? That's that's it, really. Oh. It's pee, it's pee related. Everything's pee related. Okay. Or female dog related. But he doesn't like eat poop. Where are we at with the uh with the procreation? Podcast? No, no, no. Oh, with the procreation. Well, we need a red female. So, but didn't someone email about that? Or yeah, were but they they're too like far all, away? they're far away? You're right. They did. Two people emailed about it, but they wow. were not in the, yeah, I mean, California. Yeah, like but then Phoenix, right? You could be like in Phoenix, maybe. Here's what I'm struggling with with that. I don't know how much to be like the greatest breeder in the world, and how much to go. Okay, we've done a couple medical tests on them, a couple medical tests on Prince. Let's have kids. So part of me goes, "You're a natural guy, man. Let's have five. You know, we have eight dogs we're not making dogs die because you know they're not going for a shelter like i don't care like dogs have babies all the time in the world yeah like why can't i just have but then i, I i'm like worry a little bit about like he's a he's a backyard breeder so i don't know like how about like we do like we find it's more like a beauty pageant right where you have like eight of the nicest looking female dobies yeah and then Prince gets to go in and, and sire eight litters. Yeah. You have how many puppies per litter? Five? I don't know. Ten? Eight? Ten six, per litter? Six? I call it five. Five. Five times eight is 40. 40 so we have puppies. 40 offspring. Yeah. And then. You just start selling them for big bucks. And no, no, no. We're not even going to sell them. Oh. Right. oh, okay. And you're Jones and Versa and Buddy. No, I was thinking like we could spend or like you could just start selecting the best ones or they could even live. You could have some of them like live at the facility and then you could like select the best of the best. Yeah, that's a possibility. And um, then it's a Prince lot of work. would love it though. Yeah, he'd be, he'd, he would love it Prince as would any love that. male would. But um, it's just a lot of work. I mean, puppies take work and you gotta, you know, things can happen and then you're at the vet and it's but a whole job. But we also it's have hard to get job. going on it though, don't we? Yeah. But we can also save a semen. Prince doesn't can't. want to do that. No, no, no. But he would release <laughs> at the place. There's one in Poway. What do you mean there's a place in Poway? There's a place the where you take your dog 
and they do the thing to him and then they save the semen. How do you yes. get into a job like that? Yeah, I wouldn't want it at all. Do you it have to like go to disgusting. school for that? I don't think so. It's a pretty m- mechanical thing. It probably They probably do it like from tough. cows, right? I've seen it done with killer whale have many you? times. Oh my god, yes. So they were artificially inseminating killer whales? They would have the killer whale flip and he would present and they would use their hand and into a cup. I've seen it. Is that even legal? Not anymore because they outlawed breeding of the killer whales in 010. Who's they? The government. No, but what they like California or America? Yeah. Oh, uh, OSHA, maybe. I don't know if OSHA would have that. They, they stopped OSHA's it. OSHA federal, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, the, the government. The U.S. I government. don't think they can do it in Florida. Yeah. They stopped the breeding. I mean, the, la- the killer whales in captivity are the last killer so whales. So the, the, SeaWorld is like a in in its old form is just a thing of the past. Yeah, now that you ever gone there in San Diego, they have rides. It's a ride place. It's oh, becoming yeah. a ride place. Wow. It's like attractions. It's like Great yeah. America, if you remember that place. Yeah, SeaWorld. If I was SeaWorld, if I was management after Don died, I would have I think I would like I like to think I would have said we're not we're not doing what the animal rights and OSHA and all the pro- like we're not doing it like we're fighting this you would have stood and up. they did i like to think i would have on business. i don't know about a you know ceo of these giant companies they got a lot of pressure yeah i mean the problem is it's all about the mighty dollar right so it's like yeah they have to manage the good press and the bad press yeah, and yeah, they, they don't right. want to be that's right. like in that uh, that's right way. so uh joe says max headroom was stupid i mm. supplied or i supplied your yeah. 100th like I guess he it's means a on the random. Podcast. And he says, is Eric streaming from the afterlife? I see his aura around him when he moves yeah. laugh out loud. I thought he, uh, you had more. I of was way worse afterlife thing than me. Yeah, but he doesn't like you. I'm sure he doesn't. I don't yeah. blame him. Um, Anna Burns says, I agree with your comment that we have a God given dominion over the earth, animals and plants. You making that comment explains your training approach, which I fully agree with and appreciate. Yeah, I've learned so true. much by. Thanks Thank for sharing your belief and viewpoint. Yeah. It's very tough for me to read the comments because as you know, I try to I try to bring in new content to the and we don't want to piggyback like yes. on all the the topics of yeah. the prior week. So it's you got to kind of Well, see, this is why out. like we don't talk about dogs all the time because more most of the comments are about like me hating Girl Scouts or my or the fact that we talked about religion. Or it's the like brick wall. yeah, it's like people. It's like they're not if they're not commenting on the dog stuff and they're commenting on the other stuff, then the podcast will become what it what you guys want it to be. There's a plan, and we're not in charge of that plan. Oh, right. It's a good way to look at it. Ultimately, well, there's not a plan. There we're was, just going where this plan. thing there takes wasn't you. wasn't a plan today. Um, Mango Doby says, thank you for boldly sharing truths on so many issues. Oh. I, I imagine she's talking about you. Uh, the importance of people above animals is one of them. Sadly, yeah. it's not a common belief held. It's not just dogs, uh, people anymore. I or, or equal people anymore. I actually saw a woman wearing a shirt the other day that read dogs greater than people. Like a, For sure. Know, well, you know, greater than symbol. Uh, we love our dog, but people always come first. Thanks for another great one, guys. They do. You know what I was watching? So you uh, you ever see like the people in like Yellowstone and they're like approaching a bison and everyone's like, get out of there. And then they post on social media and people are like, I wish that person would have gotten killed and mauled by that buffalo. It's like just some tourist who like wants to get close. And people are like, let's let's end this person's life. Um, but then you see like someone much, swimming right? with sh- it's a a bit much then you see someone like swimming with sharks or with um i saw this guy who i follow on instagram with crocodiles nobody's freaking out of that i don't i don't get the the dichotomy of it there's remember last no week one's you're like talking about oh my god i don't get it remember last week you're talking about the hierarchy of animals like for instance there's a guy who's that's not it though. doing rough play with uh, a raccoon yeah. and it was like a really kind of chubby raccoon yeah. and he was just like swatting it around like a brother would swat her and and i'm like oh these the comments are going to light this guy up for being like rough with that but it's like if it was a shark they wouldn't even care or a fish or something that's a lower Maybe down that's it down the, the i saw this one video hierarchy. of this guy this bulldog was on the 
a trampoline. <laughs> this guy was bouncing the bulldog and he was just he's going everywhere. Over. And then the comments were like, they wanted this guy to die. They wanted his head on a platter. Yeah. They're like, do you understand? Dog people are yeah. the driest, not a dry sense of humor, literally no sense of humor. Yeah, human zero. beings. Yeah. They're, they're, they have zero sense of humor. Dog people, people who like love dogs and like don't like people. They're the most boring, liberal, horrible people on on the earth possibly yeah no I they're, think you're they're right. so lame no i think you're right um that's funny uh i have a really good comment tell me this tell me i'm not right mike lazier who i talked about and if you see the the logo of him i think you'll remember who he is no no you're terrible okay uh mike lazier says on joel's early comments about narcissism creeping in remember when you're talking about I that that whole thing Power corrupts and influence or status. Smart. And uh, yeah, he is. In other people's eyes, corrupts. Yeah. And having more money than others corrupts. And yeah. the corrupting process is slow, sneaky, that's virtually invisible to the person it is working in. Yep. I had status and a form of power, and then it was all just gone. Best thing that ever happened to me. As I got distance from that time, that version of me, I was increasingly embarrassed, then mortified, then horrified as I became able to see how much ego and pride I had the longer I had true. that power and status. Wow. And I was entirely blind to it. Yikes. Yeah. Most people don't ever, he lost it. So he saw it, you know, he, cause he lost it. If you don't think that's true, Google um, Madonna right now. Why? What's going on with Madonna? Look at her face. She, she, she went crazy because when you're a star, when you're young, you, you'll, it's what we talked about last week. What? In the, no way. Yeah, bro. This is, this is stardom. This is fame. This will, that will oftentimes, if you don't check your ego, if you, if you listen to what people say about you, you, you can become a narcissistic crazy person it and it's hard to check it to Mike's point. You hmm. know, how do you do this? this well, you've done it many times. I guess we, I wanted to have it smaller, but I guess we'll go big. So, yes. so you're saying this one here in the middle is real. Yep. yep. This makes me sad. It's sad. And then this is real too? Yep. You could get into how she became like this and the forces of evil within the music industry and within, within the elite. And you could get into all that. This makes me want to cry. But like, that's the extreme, right? Um, but it's bad, man. It's, 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 ha it's happening to a lot of people. I what mean, do you, when what do you're you a celebrity think about that, it's, it's the, the devil gets in there. Like, is it, but what is it? What is it about the getting old process? It's like the denial. It's like, I'm not, we're not doing this kind of thing. I guess so. Like in, is there a difference right between the sexes? Can I? Yeah, I would say so. I think more women who were pretty at one time <laughs> are doing so that. <laughs> but here, here, I, I, let me to, to that point. So when you see the videos of me, when they shoot, when they shoot in my office and they shoot my right side, I can't see myself. I have a line that goes from my ear down here. Yeah. And I hate it. It's and a wrinkle, isn't it? Yeah. It's a big old wrinkle though. It goes whoop. You're on the here. line. It's like, no, that's what <laughs> called a wrinkle. Okay. I have a line that does that. And because I'm on TV or my videos, I see it all the time and I don't like it. What the hell do I what are you gonna do? I about start it? to care about it. So imagine her and how much she cared about every wrinkle. And it just that's my thinking of I don't like that. Like I'm on video a lot. Like I want to look good. Now imagine that times a million. Like I have to check that. I have to check that and go, I'm gonna get old and I'm gonna look bad. And I gotta be cool with that because I'm not I because that's nature. And and there's people who go, no, I don't want to. But I I even thought like Boy, that would be cool to get that taken care of because on videos that looks really weird. But that's that goes into the Burt Reynolds. It's not of, even a wrinkle. Yeah, what? You, you know what I mean? Like Burt Reynolds. I saw started a clip having, of Burt Reynolds today. The guy's a savage. I love that guy. Uh, rest yeah. in peace. But but he definitely seemed like he went under the knife quite a bit uh, in his later years. A lot of men, um, yeah. mostly in Hollywood, right? But like, looks like Madonna is born in 1958, so 65 Jesus. years old. I mean, 65, my dad's 72. So like that's, or he's about to be 72. So that's, I mean, my dad is 
considered my, my dad would tell you he's old. I mean, yeah, she's old. I mean, yeah, I, you gotta be careful on the podcast, like calling someone who's plus old. you hear about this, like baby, I don't want to get, I don't know how YouTube, like uh, Hollywood or music people doing, you know, certain, um, 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 things to make themselves stay like stem cells young. and stuff like that. Yeah, sort of, but like they'll do anything. A lot of them, they'll do anything to stay beautiful and young and relevant and not look old. But I think your point is like, if they look old, does that mean it's sort of that they're going to die soon? You know, I don't know, man. It's weird. It's you ego, just got to fight against it. Yeah. Everything's ego. I mean, you think about it like everything's ego. You know, it's like you get the gray hair, right? And you're like, am I going to cover this gray hair up? I know. And it's like I when you're younger, it. you're like, that doesn't look good. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Yeah. And then the gray start coming. You, go, you know, some just for men would be nice. <laughs> like, to, Yeah. Yeah. You know, but then you're like, you don't use just for men, do you? No. Would you tell me if you did? Yeah, uh, I think so. Wouldn't you see it? I have gray. You can't see it on this camera. I have a lot of gray. Yeah. You have, you have more gray than me. How dare you? I have more wrinkles, though. I have a lot of wrinkles. You, but the reason you have more wrinkles than me is A, you're older than me, but yeah. B, because of the sun exposure. Yeah, probably. You get a lot of sun, man. Yeah. I'm like, hide from the sun. Yeah. yeah you check yourself out a lot, too. I've noticed. I, it's like, yeah. yeah. I just think like there's you got to be an acceptance of just like, it's okay. Cause you know, what makes it hard is people like bandana that are making Well, that's a extreme example, but are making these changes. But yet like, imagine being a 42 year old guy and like you're getting gray hair and you're kind of like, and then you see some guys that have like pure gray hair at 40. Yeah. And you're like, like our buddy Chad has like, he's a little older than that. But like, you know, even a, a few years ago, like he had full yeah. on gray hair. Yeah but he just rocked the gray hair. He didn't have, and yeah. you're like, okay. So you think like, is this something like, but then if some guy like him decides to like make his hair black, then it starts putting pressure on everybody to like, cause now everyone's got black hair and no one's got any gray. You know what I mean? I think this mm. is an American thing mm. to some degree. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. I just think when you start, like people start taking Botox or they start doing other types of like surgeries and stuff like that, then it becomes the norm. And then the woman, like if you see a lot of women that have gray hair, like most women that are in their sixties don't have gray hair, obviously, because they're going to the yes, beauty salon. That's right. Right. But every now and then you'll see someone yeah. who's in their for, a girl who's 45 cool. and she's got like pure gray hair and you're like, yeah, but she looks nice. And she's not, you know, she's just has gray hair. Yeah. She's the oddball because she chose not to. I know. To dye her hair. It's every tougher day. on women though. Yeah. You know? No, it you're right. Is. You're right. Botox is the way of the future. People are getting Botox at like 20 now for like be, for the future, like to not get the wrinkles. Have you had Botox? No, I, 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 I I'm not going to get it. But like, I don't think it's probably the worst thing in the world. Botox for a guy. Botox for a, a YouTube star. Oh, yeah, that's true. What I if it fine. made your face like puffy? Yeah, but like, well, you think no, you do a little like bit? No, like no wrinkles. It looks weird. It looks weird. Yeah, that's that's my point. Like, it would be weird for someone with a lot of wrinkles to do it now. Yeah, like it just doesn't work the late same. Late to the game. Right? Yeah, you're late to the game. Like, do it early in life, and I think you don't need it later. Maybe I don't know. You you still need it. The sun exposure is big, though. Oh yeah, Sea World. There's Sea World people, women, and uh, like their hands and their not well. All everyone with their 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 um hands at sea world but they get six like, such old hands really yeah did you get ridiculous amount of sun exposure at sea world at least on your face in san diego you get more because in orlando it's so hot you kind of can't be in the sun so did you have to like use a ton of sunscreen and stuff i've i've, yeah, I've used sunscreen 15 times in my life in your life 20 i just Holy don't use it you never did no did you always feel that way? Yeah. Were you like, this is just wrong? I don't know. No, I just don't use it. Like I get tan. Yeah. And then I'm like, why, why not? Like, why not just stay, you know, I'm a little ahead of the curve. Now people are like, I didn't think this back then, but you're just going to put like, like stuff. You don't know what that's doing to you. What about DEET? You know what DEET is? Yeah. Again, 
per we mosquitoes. Don't know what, yeah, what it's that's like, doing to you. Yeah. We never use mosquito stuff. My is it family. the cure is worse than the disease is what they call that? Yeah. They're like, hey, this is some toxic chemical that only, yeah. it's so bad that even the mosquitoes won't get near you. Yeah. Just lather yourself up in it. Yeah. I think eventually you have to like accept like, you know, mosquitoes, flies, like even in Hawaii, they had a lot of rain and the mosquitoes were, especially on the other island, crazy. Yeah. And I was like sitting in a bush and it was like, it was like a swarm of them. And then I had like a long sleeve shirt and they were just like, bink, bink, just biting me through it. And I'm like, who came up with these things? If people don't know you hunt, they're like, why would you be sitting in a bush? Yeah, sitting, <laughs> sitting in, a, and I, what's funny is I sat and I was thinking like, okay, I sat in a, um, some type of mosquito nest, right? Like I hit the wrong spot. And so then I went like a little further down and mm -hmm. sat there. And then it was just like mosquitoes everywhere. I'm like, oh no, they're just here. It's they're like the river everywhere. bottom, you know, even though there's no river. So it was just horrendous. But um, but ultimately, you got to pay the pay the cost to be the boss, you know. So yeah. what are you gonna do? So uh, yeah. any parting words? No, no, no. We'll see you next week. All right, see you guys. Love you.